and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching, and welcome to another episode of Games DIY Garage. I'm James, and this is my 2014 Maserati Ghibli SQ4, and I've got a sinking feeling. You guys ever get that sinking feeling when you stop at a stoplight and your brake pedal slowly goes down to the floor and you if you're not paying attention and you lose pressure the system loses pressure your car will start to creep forward you have to push harder on the brake or just pump it again well that's what's going on with my 2014 Maserati Ghibli right now and there's only two things it could be because uh, I've already eliminated uh, the other uh, two other things. First thing I eliminated was leaks. There are no leaks in the system. I checked all four wheels. I checked around. There's, there, there, I'm not losing any brake fluid. The second issue it could have been was air or moisture in the system. And I bled all four wheels. I went to 32 fluid ounces of dot floor dot four uh, brake fluid, and still had this it didn't didn't really didn't make a difference at all so I still have the issue so the two remaining issues it can be is either the ABS hydraulic unit or the master cylinder and I wanted to have a diagnostic done to find out to figure out for sure which one it was so I called the UTEC and they don't have the software to do the diagnostic but they, they suggested I call Stewart's Auto in Sacramento and I called them and I would have been willing to pay $100, $150 for a diagnostic. They want $320 for a diagnostic. Over twice what I figured a diagnostic, just to do a diagnostic to tell me what's wrong. <clears throat> I, that's just obscene. So I said, well, screw that. That was Stewart's Auto in Sacramento. $320 to do a diagnostic. Okay, <laughs> I'll do it my way. So, let me show you what I did. Paging Dr. James. Paging Dr. James. I have got myself a mechanic stethoscope here. And here, underneath this uh, windshield water tray, we have the hydraulic, the, the ABS hydraulic unit and the master cylinder. I had my son apply constant, steady, hard pressure on the brake, and I listened. Place the uh, probe here, here, you know, different areas on this uh, uh, ABS hydraulic unit to see if I could hear anything going on. Other than the initial surge, which is normal when you uh, push the brake, I didn't hear anything else going on while the pedal was going down. So I tried the master cylinder, and I placed it in a couple areas on the master cylinder itself. <coughs> Excuse me. And lo and behold, I heard something going on after the initial surge. So I suspect, I strongly suspect, the master cylinder has an issue. So I went and bought a master cylinder. But uh, let me explain what I, where I bought it. Scuderia Car uh, ScuderiaCarParts.com wanted $450 plus their astronomical shipping to ship it out here. They don't carry it. They'd have to special order it. And it would take four to six weeks to get here. Um, I'm not going to let my car sit here for that long. This is my daily driver and I love driving this car so I'm not going to not drive this car for four to six weeks. So I went to um, another place to get a second hand. And there it is right there. This is a good one. It's, uh, te it's they, This company here the Parts Pros, they actually specialize in Maserati. There's a telephone number there. They're local here in Sacramento. There's their address. 
And the reason they specialize in Maserati is because they have the, the equipment to do this, to, to test the equipment. And they, 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 prove, they, they tell me that this is tested good, okay? And they only charge me $50. They advertise this on eBay for $60, and since I'm local, they said they only charge me $50. <coughs> so, I know you all, I, I, I can hear it all, I can see it already in the comments. Why'd you get a secondhand one? Da, 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 da. Well, this is $50. I can install this, and then if I want to, I can order another one from Scuderia, a new one from Scuderia, and wait the four to six weeks for it, get, it gets here. In the meantime, I'll be able to drive my car for 50 bucks. If this isn't it, they've agreed, if, it, if, if I install this and it still has the same issue, nothing's changed, then they've agreed to let me return this, and they've also agreed to sell me this. They have one of these. They have these that have also been tested good. So I'm gonna buy that from them and install this, install this, you know, change it, swap this one out. And, oh heck, I may even keep that, that one there. Since this one came off a lower mileage Maserati, mine's got 81,000 miles, I may just keep that, it's only 50 bucks. And they're willing to sell this part to me for 100 bucks. I can install it and they'll, <coughs> excuse me, they will test it for me on my car when I, if I drive it down there, to make sure everything's working fine, working fine. They'll put their, they've agreed to put their, their equipment on my car and, and, and test it to make sure it's working good. So that's what I'm gonna do, that's my plan. <sighs> but I suspect it's the, uh, the master cylinder, because I, like I said, I can't hear anything going on in the ABS hydraulic unit. So when I get off work today, I, I'm going to start taking things apart. I'm go I got my, as you can see here, I have the bench bleed kit installed on it. <clears throat> Basically consists of some fittings here. The hoses go up here. I fill it with fluid. And then I just keep pushing this part in here. Keep pushing this part in here all the way until there's no air coming through the hoses. It just bleeds it right back into the, the into the reservoir. This is a bench bleed kit. Then I can take it off and seal those uh, ports again. Then I will remove the master cylinder because this will be ready to install. So I'll remove the master cylinder, put that, put, put that one in, put the new one in, and bleed the whole system, all, all four wheels, and then see if that resolves my issue. Let's keep our fingers crossed. But we're gonna start by removing the water tray, the windshield wipers and the water tray, and I'm gonna remove this uh, strut tower support, lateral support unit. And you've seen those uh, Mustangs and stuff, they get the aftermarket strut, uh, strut tower supports for lateral support. Well, ours already has it, it's right there. It's underneath this. Um, water trade, that's why you don't see it, but ours does have the strut tower support. Okay, I'm all set to bench bleed my master cylinder. Got everything set up, bench bleed kits installed. So I use this to push in the thing, and you can, you'll can you be able to see the air bubbles. Gonna hold it too. You see the air bubbles? I gotta keep doing that until there's no more air bubbles. Okay, it's kinda hard to push with fluid in it. I push it slowly from what I've been told. I can see it bleeding. I can see fluid going into the master cylinder. And we just keep doing this until there's no more air bubbles in coming out of the thing. My damn vice is coming loose. There's no more air bubbles in the hose. And that's how you base bleed a master cylinder. This is gonna take a while. So, I am going to pause the video and I'll be right back when this is done. 
Okay, I think I was able to get it bled all the way. I had some difficulty because the, the uh, bench bleed kit that I had bought, the fittings don't want to go all the way down inside there. It was when I, when I let it out, it was sucking air in through there, through, uh, through the fitting. So what I did is I filled it up with fluid and I flipped it on its side. Loosen this up. Flipped it on its side like this. Then pushed it in a little, fluid came out. I put it back up like that, let fluid drain out and hopefully that bled it, that bled the, the uh, filter up. And then I filled this up, hopefully it's still full. Hasn't leaked out. Got my flashlight here. Yeah, it's still full. I filled it up a little bit more because when I loosen these up to put the lines in, these fittings up to put the lines in, fluid's going to come out. I'm going to uh, when I get the old one out, I'm going to uh, spread the the rag underneath really good. There's already a rag underneath the old one and uh, in my car. So I'm, comp I'm fairly confident this has been bench bled properly, as properly as I can with the cheap bench bleed kit that I got. The other kit was a little bit too expensive. So I got this one. Okay, you probably noticed I'm switching back and forth from my um, Canon camera to my phone because I don't want to remove the Canon from the stand. So, here's where we're at inside the car. Here's the uh, master cylinder. You can uh, the flashlight down there. You can see the two lines back in there. I have to remove those lines and have to remove the bolts. There's the bolt down back there. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. The camera won't focus. Okay. Get the phone down in there. There you can see it. There's a bolt there, or not a bolt, but a nut. And then there's another nut down there. There, you see it? So two nuts and two lines. I've already disconnected the electric line, but first, before I begin dis disconnecting lines, I'm going to put a rag, a thick rag, down in here to catch the brake fluid that's gonna spill when I do these lines. I'm gonna leave the cap on and uh, we'll see how it goes. Okay, I assumed that the uh, lines on that uh, master cylinder were metric since the car comes from Italy. I bought, so I bought a, a set of metric line wrenches and believe it or not, none of these fit. What does fit is this 7 16 wrench that's what fits don't ask I don't know it's from Italy it should be metric but it's in the, the lines on those car on this car are English because 10 doesn't 10 doesn't fit and neither does uh, 12 10 12 doesn't fit it, I don't know if a, an 11 millimeter exists I've already broken the, the fittings loose with this I'll be able to get those fittings off the line fittings. Um, for the two nuts, they're 13 millimeter. So I've got this. This is going to work for um, one of them and the other one. The, the one on in the back here, the one on the, in the back here is going to have to be taken off with the with the socket uh, and an extension. The one closest to me is going to be used, removed using this. I'm going to take this off off camera. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the bolts off first, or the bolts, the nuts off first, then I'll remove the lines. Catch you on the flip side. Okay, I got both nuts off. Actually, I had to use a shorter extension because the extension that I had was too long. So I used a shorter extension with the breaker bar. Once I broke it loose, then I was able to uh, put that put this on my little thing here and run, and run it off. I ran it uh, just enough so that I could loosen it up the rest of the way with my finger. I don't want to drop the nut down inside this. This one here, <clears throat> I used this 
13 millimeter uh, ratchet wrench and that worked great got it down and then and it's hard to get your hand in there to get the other one uh, the one closest to you out but I used my right hand and I stuck it down in this way to do it so I was able to keep the nut from dropping there they are now let's get now let's get the lines what I have is I have a, a bowl here when I pull the lines and I pull this out pull the mass cylinder out fluid's gonna leak out you see I got a rag down in there <clears throat> fluid's gonna leak out and I want to put the master cylinder here so the fluid can leak in this instead of dragging it all <laughs> dragging you know leaving a trail of fluid here so that's my plan uh, I need two hands to do this so um, I'll set up the other I'll set up the stand camera for this part okay now let's loosen those lines let's get those lines off and get that uh, pump the master cylinder out Wow, there was suction in here. Vacuum. There, got the other line out. Okay. Now, I should be able to just pull this thing out. Without damaging the fing o ring, too. Stopping it from coming out. Not the lines. Here we go. There it is. There's, there's the old one. Whew. So, what's the O-ring? There's no fit O-ring here. Oh, I just cut myself. As you can see, there's no O-ring. Wondering where the O-ring went. Okay, let's put this over here. Let's see if we can find that damn O-ring. Should there's supposed to be an O-ring there? I didn't see it fall. And again, I did hear a huge suction noise. Maybe it's inside here. Oh, there it is. I found it. It got sucked inside. There's the ovary. Ta-da! The O-ring was inside the booster pump. That's supposed to, the O-ring supposed to go on like that. Let's put this bad boy in there. Line up the holes. It went in a whole lot easier than it came out. <laughs> Go figure. Now, we have to get the nuts on. So, we work on that. The only way to do that is this way. Hopefully, we're not. 
secret. I did not drop it. <laughs> okay, next one. This is going in a whole lot easier than it came out. You tell me. You tell me. Oh, f you know what I just did? I just dropped the the, the uh, I just dropped the fucking nut. It's down in the pan. I have to lift the car to get the nut. <laughs> I will do that off camera. I'll be back. I believe I have verified the master cylinder was my problem. Let me show you. I took the master cylinder all apart. Well, I took the, the pistons out. And this is what I found. Down inside there, you can see a little white piece of plastic. It's, it looks like it's wrapped up. It appears to be wrapped up in the bottom seal down there. I don't know where that came from, but here are the pistons. This is the inside piston here, and it does, it's okay. There's, it doesn't look like there's any damage on it. This is the uh, spring, inside spring here. There's no broken pieces or anything off of this. This went in there like this. It's went in there like this. Bing. And that's where that was. And this is the outside so, uh, piston here, so it doesn't look damaged. So, and this is what's sticking out the ass, the back, the back end of it too. So, I don't know what that is. Take another look at it. Okay, I had to lift the car up to get my wrench and the nut. I had to pull the bottom pan, the big one. So I didn't have to pull the, the front one, just the bottom, just the back, just the middle one, or the back one. So let's try to get this on again. I left it off this time. I guess I dropped this on again. Go around in here. Got it, it's on there. Okay. I'm gonna be in your way here. Sorry. And now I can tighten the other one down. <clears throat> I managed to get that, that back fitting started. And uh, I'm gonna have to let the car down just a little bit more. That's too high for me. There you go. <clears throat> if I get these two lines on, I'm gonna call it a night. And then tomorrow, it's Friday, right after work, I'm gonna come down here and start bleeding the system. So let's finish tightening this line up. Line's almost tight. Almost there. Ah. 
Okay, back line's on. Now for front line. Get this rag back down here. Okay. Okay. That line is tight. So I managed to get that piece of plastic out of the master cylinder. I know exactly what this is. This is a seal to a cheap bottle of brake fluid. That's what this is. This is one of those seals that you poke your finger through or poke a screwdriver through and uh, pull and tear it off. Apparently, um, this was done by a previous owner because I don't use that type of brake fluid. I only use the Pentosin Super Dot 4, which is uh, a lot more expensive and comes in a much better container, a metal container. And the seal is made of uh, solid plastic. It's not something you poke a hole into. It's got a ring and it, it's like a pull tab. You uh, like, well, like what you find on your imitation eggs, egg uh, cartons or your your coffee creamer cartons. It's got a ring you pull, you, you open, you pull off the cap, get that, pull that ring, and you, you pull the cap, the, the seal off that way. It's a solid piece of plastic, not like this. <clears throat> so, this was, had to have been done by um, the previous owner or by a shop that the previous owner brought the cart to to have the brakes worked on. Um, and they poked a hole in it and pulled the tap, pulled the seal off, and this fell inside probably, and when they poured the brake fluid in, this went into the reservoir with the brake fluid, and it just didn't do anything until recently when it found its way into the master cylinder and started and wrapped itself around the seal and started to interfere with the, uh, the, the seal, the inside seal in the master cylinder, causing my brake pedal to, to um, slowly sink to the floor and lose pressure. So that is what this was doing to my master cylinder. I had spoken to uh, three separate Maserati technicians on the Maserati Facebook group about this, about my uh, pedal sinking to the floor issue, and they, each one of them, have said same thing. They don't. They've never seen it before. They've never seen that issue before. They've never known the master cylinders on our cars to have problems. And as a matter of fact. None of them have even changed a master cylinder in a Ghibli or the new Quattroporti or a Levante for that matter. None of them have even changed a master cylinder in, 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 in these cars. So um, having said that, I, I am probably the first one on the planet to have had to change a master cylinder in a Maserati Ghibli. So if um, one of you... Uh, Maserati technicians out there find yourself having to do that and you need some pointers feel free to give me a holler <laughs> Anyhow, I fixed my issue for $50 by buying a second-hand Master cylinder from uh, the parts pros local here in Sacramento. They, they specialize in um, Maseratis as I said before and The donor car was a lot had a lot less mileage than my car. So I am not going to be buying a $450 uh, master cylinder from Scuderia and replace it again <clears throat> based on what the Maserati technicians say and based on what I've found here. My master cylinder itself did not have a problem. There was foreign matter in the cylinder causing an issue with, with, uh, see, with the seals. In the aircraft industry, in the Navy, we call this FOD, foreign object damage. And uh, this type of uh, situation can be very dangerous. So when you're when you're play, when you're working on your car or somebody else's car, you have to be careful not to do something like this. Make sure that when you put brake fluid in the car, only brake fluid's going in there and not a part of the seal from the bottle. Buy some good quality brake fluid for your Maserati. 
I recommend the Pentosin uh, Super Dot 4 for the uh, for our users here at, or for our Maserati owners here in the U.S. I don't know if they sell it overseas, but uh, that's what I recommend for uh, for our uh, U.S. Uh, Maserati owners the, that whose cars require the Dot 4. The Pentosin is a good brake fluid. Um, and Super Dot 4, the name of it, Pentosin Super Dot 4. There's another Pentosin uh, Dot 4 out there. Can't remember the name, but it's not Super Dot 4. I don't buy that. I make sure it says Super Dot 4 on the can. So I'm gonna call this issue resolved. My brake issue is fixed. I've been driving the car around all day today, um, running errands, and I have not had a problem. Um, the brakes, were, brakes have been working fine. So I'm going to call this issue resolved. Thanks for watching. I'm going to start ending my videos by featuring photos of viewers' cars, starting with this beautiful white 2017 Maserati Ghibli SV4, submitted by Nathan P. in Arizona with 45,000 miles on it. Sweet ride, Nathan. If you'd like your cool ride featured at the end of my next video, you'll find out how in the description below.